Hold on. No le suervas. I was always told not to slurp my drink. But now I can, so I do. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about starting over. Can I start over? Should you start over? Man, shout out to all my um, new subscribers, too. If they're not robots and they're actually people and you're actually coming in to watch this new episode, do me a favor. I don't know. Put an asterisk in the comments. Put something. Type some gibberish or just say hello in the comments. Let me know that you're a real sub and not some random robot out there that's making the, the ticker tick. As of this video, I think I'm at 280 or 281 or something like that. So if you are for real, for real, give me a comment. Anyways, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about, like I said, can I start over? Sometimes it'll happen that you start you start something. You want to start a new business or you you start a new side hustle and you start and and you you could get really excited at the beginning cuz it's new. I call it the newness of things. Don't get too caught up in the newness of things. Everything's going to be fun when it's new. Even opening a bottle of water that first drink, it's exciting because you crack the lid, you know, and, and, and it's full and you take that first sip and it just seems so fresh and so delicious. But everything settles. Everything settles from from dust, from dirt in the water. You can shake it all you want, but it settles. Everything settles. But also know that after after that newness and it settles, find that middle point and enjoy it and work it and keep on pursuing what you had planned and what you wanted to do. But if at any time it just starts becoming something that it's not increasing your happiness or keeping you at a high level of happiness and you don't want to start over because you think it's considered a failure or they're going to laugh at you or someone's going to have their opinion. If you feel that you have to change it and it's part of the plan to say, OK, at three weeks, I'm going to see where I'm at with things in one month and two months and three months and six months, whatever plan that you set to measure as a measuring point, you come in and you say, this is not as fun as I thought it was going to be. The level of pressure is too high, the uh, causing too much friction or too much tension in my life or or too much worry instead of it causing uh, as you grow as a business grows as you get more into it it should be that much more fun that much more fun that much more, that much more fun I, i've had uh, a business in the past that as it grew it was more stressful yeah there was more money there was more income but that's not the happiness the happiness is is this exciting as it grows or as it's growing is it becoming more tension more stress more worry more uh, um an inability to relax and enjoy this money that you're getting. The point is to enjoy the money that you're getting, for your crew to enjoy the money that they're getting, and for the people, the customers, the consumer to enjoy the service that you're providing. But as the snowball's growing and it's becoming a, even before I jump to that thought, as the snowball's growing and instead of creating more happiness, it's creating more friction and tension, you got to know when to just like smash that snowball and start over start over with another business or restart over with that same business but readjust reinvent yourself i've reinvented myself so many times in pursuit of adjustment and realizing that what i really want to chase is happiness you just want to be a tremendous level of pleasantness because it just begets more pleasantness it, it, it's contagious and you'll attract people that are in the same goal of creating pleasantness so don't be afraid to, to reinvent yourself don't be afraid to start over it doesn't have to be from a, a whole new business it doesn't have to be from the from from zero it doesn't have to be it could just be like okay hold on let's stop right here let's readjust make sure that 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 the little steps that i'm taking every day are in the direction that i want to go you want to start a landscaping business for example and i i say that because i see my garden right outside this window right here and you go out day one and you start working on flower beds you start working on on on, on yards and let's say you've never done it besides your your front and backyard but you get your first gig whether it's a family or a friend or whatever and you go do it and you're just like oh my gosh it's there's soup my allergies are, are are kicking in it's way more work than i thought even though i priced it right and i'm getting uh, i'm getting good uh reviews or i'm making good money it's just, i don't know if i want to I'm, I'm i get home and i'm super tired and i'm i'm not in a good mood i'm just kind of done 
like, do you want to grow that? Do you want to, whatever it is that you're feeling right there, it, you're, you're probably going to grow it. If it's being funneled by happiness, you're, it's going to grow. So you could force it. You could, you could fake happiness and grow it, but do you really want to grow those feelings that, that you already have from day one? Even if you adjust, if you say, oh, you know what? Maybe if I just uh, wear a different kind of a shirt and a different hat, try it. That's reinventing yourself. That's starting over, but you're starting over with new tools. You're starting over with the new concept. Start it. Still doesn't work. Okay. Reassess in a couple of weeks. If you'd like to give yourself two, three weeks, two, three months, don't wait 10 years before you change it, but be aware, pay attention, do these, do these, these checkpoints where you tell yourself, is this what I want to do? And don't ever be afraid of starting over. Like I said, it doesn't have to be from zero. It doesn't have to be a whole new business. It could be the same thing, but you're just reinventing it, starting it a little different, adjusting it. Point is, you want to do your thing, but you want to make sure that you're not going from, let's say, a, an unhappy job to now you own the unhappy job. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure that you're having fun. Maybe you love your job and you're going to start a side hustle. You're going to be adding more hours to your work day maybe just at the beginning and then it'll be on autopilot but to a certain degree you are going to add some hours to your day someone's losing those hours whether it's yourself whether it's family member whether it's friends that you're investing into that business you got to make sure that while you're there it's just that much more happiness that much more fun that much more pleasantness always chase pleasantness and don't be afraid to restart especially if you're chasing pleasantness and happiness Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for coming back. If this is the first time here, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. I also invite you to leave a comment, leave a question. If you agree or something, if you have a question or anything like that, put it in the comments. Also, if you are a returning viewer and you've watched other videos and you're coming back for another video, thank you so much. Hit the like button. And also, if you'd like to leave a comment. Also, I invite you to also share this video if you think somebody could benefit from listening to it. Or if you scroll and you check out other videos and you kind of like what you hear and you want to share it with somebody that you think may enjoy this kind of content, shoot them over the link and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a great one. Make it a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.